Acting President Guy Scott led a host of leaders, cabinet ministers, former presidents and diplomats to greet the remains of the late Michael Sata. Sata's body was then driven to Lusaga's Mulungushi International Conference Center, where it will lie in state before the funeral. The public will be allowed to view the body from Sunday until the 9th of November, and Parliament will host a Thanksgiving ceremony on November 10th. Sata will be buried at the Embassy Park Cemetery on November 11. The graveyard is reserved for heads of state and two of Zambia's former leaders, Frederick Shiluba and Levi Mwanawasa, are buried there. For months, officials in the Southern African nation repeatedly denied that Sata was sick, despite several trips abroad for medical help. Fresh elections to pick a new president must be held within three months of Sata's death, and acting President Scott is not expected to run.